Hi, this is Paul Morrissey from Itachi Fantara. This is a brief introduction to the Itachi VAS provider, which provides both VASA and VVOL capabilities for Itachi storage and uh, UCP systems. From a vCenter perspective, uh, first we'll jump to the storage provider. Uh, again, this is available from the configure screen on the vCenter. You'll see I've previously added my VAS provider, which, as we referenced, runs as a virtual appliance in the infrastructure. And the URL which uh, accesses this particular VAS provider uh, is located here. And uh, we'll use this URL to jump into the management interface to activate the storage containers. So, jumping into that particular interface, here's the URL. Again, it uses uh, vSphere single sign on, so I use my vSphere credentials. So once into the Attache web UI, uh, normally the first step is to add storage systems. Again, as a virtual appliance, our VASA can manage one or more storage or UCP systems. Again, I've already uh, added our uh, all-flash storage system, VSP1500, to this particular VASA system. And I can add more as required. Again, it gives you the sufficient information on pools and LDEVs that are configured in the system, uh, which we'll delve into later. From a storage container perspective, again, a VVOL data store equals a VVOL container. Again, we'll, I already have created this storage container here, so we'll go and edit. And this VVOL storage container is composed of two pools, a DP3 pool and a DP2 pool. Uh, HC's pools have a capability profile assigned against them. Uh, so, for example, if I go check on one of these profiles, so again, this is where we set the various capabilities of that particular pool. Uh, on the bottom, you'll see some of the auto generated capabilities, you know, whether it's, for example, encryption or deduplication or compression is enabled on that, on that pool. And then we have a set of characteristics which storage admins can manage, so for example, cost or the availability tier and indeed performance across both IOPS and latency. So depending on the configuration of the pool, admins can define and set the various characteristics. And you'll see later these get exposed up to vCenter as capabilities that can be used in storage policies. So that's our VVOL storage container. If I click on the uh, VVOL container, there's additional information available. If I go to the VVOLs tab, you'll see here there's an association of VM name and the particular VMDKs that are created for a particular VM name and the actual mini LUN that we created for that VVOL. So, for example, for this VM name, which HSA, which has um, two VMDKs and one config volume, uh, we see the association of the LUN device names and the particular policy that may have been assigned against that VM when it was provisioned. Alright, so let's um, go back to vCenter. Uh, we'll go to the data store tab. Again, we've, we have our data stores here. Again, the VVOL is just another data store in the environment. Again, this, this particular example is called the VVOL container. We'll see when it goes to the configure screen, we've got two capability sets. Again, these are the capabilities that I policies that I find on the web UI. So let's have a look at the policies. So again, vSphere admins will uh, normally create storage policies. We'll have a look at our number of policies here. So we'll have a look at the second one. Tier 1, no encryption. Again, from a rule set perspective, we define various capabilities that we want this policy to adhere to. So any VM that's placed in this policy will get a resource that matches this. So for example, this policy states uh, it must be SAS drives, it must be tier one tier one performance class, it must be tier one latency class resource. And the cost of it must be between 800 and 850 units uh, and the encryption is not required. So once that policy is assigned to a VM, VASA will ensure that VM gets placed in a resource that matches that particular policy. So again, very effective, very efficient 
way to ensure VMs get the right resources or, or SLAs that, that they require. Our VAS provider is applicable to, to both VVOL and VMFS. Uh, for VMFS, we leverage tagging capabilities to so give customers uh, an option to use tags to create storage policy based management. So, for example, uh, this link here takes me to all the LDEVs in the system and we surface up any LDEVs which have data store names. So, if I click on this particular data store, look at the profile. So, the data stores inherit the same capabilities from the underlying pool. Uh, which also can be further customized for a particular volume as well. So again, for this particular volume, these characteristics have been identified for this particular LUN, and we're exposing encryption rate level characteristics as well. There's also an option to do user-defined capabilities. So for example, we've got a user-defined capability called data location. And so for example, this volume was located in Ireland. We can certainly add that as a uh, capability that can get exposed up to the vSphere administrator as well. On the just quickly to have a look on the vCenter tag perspective, see how to get service on the vCenter side for that particular data store. If I quickly just refresh this. So again, all the tags, all the capabilities will get serviced up as tags in vCenter. So if this player volume now it's got these various tags available to tier one, deduplication is no, encryption is no, and so forth. Now we see the data store tags have been refreshed and now the data location is showing up. And then from a policy based perspective, just to give you a quick look at um, you can certainly create policies via using um, Vivo VAS SPVM. Uh, also with the Apache VAS provider you can also create policies using tags as well. So. So for example, we have a policy to one apps and data must be located in Europe. So if we look at that policy and rules, basically uses tags. So again, find data stores with a tag of tier one performance and also find data stores with a data location residing in Ireland. So data would reside in Europe. Okay. The benefit is vSphere mins now have a better perspective on that LUN and the capabilities that it provides. Again, a little bit of VVOL value that we've brought forward into the VMFS world. And that's it. That's a brief overview of the Attache storage provider.